bit to the south of us and not only rain, but fog. I know there's some locations to the north with half mile visibility or less, so not exactly that nice to be out, though it is warm. 48 degrees is what we're sitting at right now, and you look at the metro light rain falling here, but we've got much heavier stuff down by winter set and look at this huge band Omaha all the way to the southeast towards Lamoni. Heavier stuff could even have an embedded thunderstorm in there. So zooming out statewide for us, you can see the general motion of this moisture generally moving west to east and we've got even more making its way in from the south. So we got a little bit more rain to get through before we eventually work in some of this drier air on the southwestern edge of this system. But notice the snow to the west. Denver all the way up through Rapid City picking up on that. So I know we don't need the rain, but maybe it's good that it's not snow. Uh, over the next 24, 12 to 24 hours, though, we're going to eventually see that taper back even by 6, 7 p.m. So temperatures staying relatively warm, loaded in 50s through 1 o'clock in the morning, and we keep that break in the rain into the evening. Notice the winds, though, 20 to 30 miles an hour out of the southeast. Hang on to your hats or your ponchos if you got them on. Hour by hour, notice that drier air by 4 p.m. really working its way in. So still could see some showers as that moves in, but into uh, Thursday morning, we start to reach our next wave of rain that's going to work its way through and into the uh, afternoon hours that continues to shift eastward. So by the evening, could even see some snowflakes mixing in through northern portions of the state. And into Friday, we break from that all together and finally bring in some much needed sunshine. So as far as how much more rain you can expect, Northwestern portions of the state by and large are going to see the most that we've got left inch to an inch and a half Sioux City up through Spencer. Otherwise, central southeastern portions of the state anywhere from a tenth to a third of an inch in the next 24 hours. So with all the rain we've had and the snow that we have had melting, there are some locations right now on our current river conditions map that are experiencing at least minor flooding and even some that are seeing even more than that. And as we look into our next three days here, we're going to eventually see those conditions deteriorate even more. A lot of locations are going to be picking up on that major flooding level and even the moderate flooding levels. So one of those locations is Raccoon River at Fleur. You can see not too bad right now, but we head in towards the next couple days and we're going to gain nearly 10 feet on that location. So that's going to put it in moderate flood stage 17.2. That's on Friday. And heading into the weekend, that could exacerbate even more. Middle River down near Indianola, just riding on the lower edge of that moderate flood stage. So some things to note. I mean, we are even close to a record for flood stage there. That record, again, 26.4. So plan on more rain as we head into the afternoon. And tonight, again, that's going to start to back off for us. So we catch a little bit of a break, but it's not going to last forever. And we're going to see that rain start to surge back in tomorrow, late morning, early afternoon. Again, could see a thunderstorm or two out there. Some areas of the southwest already seeing that. Otherwise, temperatures mild, uh, middle 50s for a lot of us. Those temperatures start to drop tomorrow as we see that rain and even a snowflake mix in Thursday. And that wind's going to be with us through Friday. Temperatures holding tight in the middle 40s through the end of the weekend.